We're the Niases. We've moved to an almost off-the-grid setup located in Melbourne, Australia. After what has been a never-ending series of lockdowns across the country, we decided to make a move. Along this experience, we've learned some great skills, like building a shed, framing our internal walls, installing insulation, hanging some plasterboard, and the list goes on and on. We've been on a hell of a ride so far, and we invite you to join us on our journey of self-discovery. So leave a comment and give us your thoughts or tips on what we're doing right or wrong. Hit the like button to show us a little bit of love, and don't forget to subscribe and stay notified with our journey. Now, let's get started. So we've had a crazy week, as I keep saying, not allowed to leave the house. Um, a couple of other things here and there that's happened this week, um, quite emotional stuff. So today, Tristan and I are actually going for a bit of a date day, which is nice. Going out with um, a couple of our friends to go watch the movie Black Widow. Is that what we're watching? That is what we're watching. Uh, to be honest, Tristan's super excited about the movie. I'm just excited to be out the house. But we have managed to leave the house with no kids. Our back seat is empty for the first time in so long. Uh, so we're going to take this opportunity to really... think about kids. Yeah. Stop looking for the Righty, so we have got all the stuff from Ikea. Anyway, all the stuff is packed in the back, just a whole series of boxes, and then there's like one or two small little things like this. But yeah, got all that stuff. Now we're on our way to Bunnings to go pick up the final fittings for the uh, plumbing coming inside, and then um, yeah, we'll go back to the container. I took out an Uh, all my little escapades around town, what it feels like. We're finally back at the container and we're just trying to, in well I'm trying to install the hot water service. It's going to be connected by the electrician and he's going to do that over the next couple of days. However, to actually get the water connected up, we'll do that today. Run a water pipe down, run onto the, uh, the pole there for the farmer to do his thing. And then once that's up there, then um, that'll make his world a lot easier, make my world a lot easier. And then, oh, stop for a second. It's a big hill. <laughs> what I'm gonna then look at doing is um, running the water pipes into the hot water service and then running them inside. So I'm gonna look at doing that today. As well as doing that, I need to get some crushed rock from the top. Just gotta ask if that's alright. Make a bit of a level bed for it to sit on. And then putting the tank on top of that. Um, once we put the tank on top of that, that'll make life much easier. Make it all nice and level. We put a concrete block underneath of it, and then once that's done, then um, the tank will sit up there nice and level. Once it sits nice and level, we can then turn the water on and actually get water running into it, which will be really good. So one of the things that's been a bit of a pain in the ass is um, trying to upload these videos 
with next to no internet. Uh, that's been a, a big issue for us recently is we've got all these videos that we've made or we're in the process of making but no internet to be able to actually upload any of them so that becomes a bit of an issue. It also becomes an issue because in case you weren't aware I run a web business and I can't upload or I can't work with my team or anything like that because there's no internet to be able to do that. So it becomes very difficult when you've got you know maybe like two to three megabytes solid internet. Um, well it's not actually solid, that's a lie. It's pretty all over the place, it's two to three megabytes on a good day. Um, so that's absolutely horrible. <laughs> anyway. So while laying the plasterboard, we realized how absolutely difficult it was to hold the plaster upside down, um, just the two of us, and we were holding up 3.6 meter sheets, which was a bit of a joke in hindsight. It did allow us to quickly get the sheets on, and then we had filled up like you know, a one third or one quarter of the container in one shot. However, it was so painful on the arms to be holding it upside down for so long and so un unbelievably awkward. Uh, we ended up using a little bit of a jig system to hold it in place, but yeah, it was just such a pain to be holding it upside down. But thankfully it was over and done with quite quickly. So what we decided to do was put the cameras down for a couple of days, chuck up the plasterboard just to kind of get us a little bit further ahead. We found that the camera was a little bit intrusive when we were actually trying to get the house built. But as you can see, when we put the plasterboard up on the wall, massive difference, absolutely massive difference. You can really see that it changes it from a simple container with a couple of bits of frame in it to, you know, more of a livable space, really. So I started doing all of that and you know, started putting together more of the kitchen and a few things like that and yeah, it's starting to really kind of come together which is really nice as you can see.
subscribe next time. Goodbye.